Cassandra. Oh, good. How are you? God, I'm so glad you showed up. I was getting nervous. I know, me too. <laughs> I guess you had like a line and a half out there, chiller, huh? I did. It was really great. I, I just went out to dinner with some really old friends, Bruce Davison and Lorraine Newman. Wow. Oh, we had fun. I got back a little late. Well, the first question, of course, is probably the question that's in everybody's mind. With the show coming up on the Fox Reality Channel, which is the search for the next Elvira, why in the world are we searching for another Elvira? I'll tell you why. Because um, every Halloween, I get hundreds and hundreds of requests for Halloween gigs, like haunted houses and you know shopping malls and whatever. And um, one day it dawned on me as I was looking at Santa Claus, that he is the best of both worlds because he's got like a million of himself and they <laughs> run around doing all sorts of gigs at Christmas time and I thought I should have that so I'm kind of looking for an Elvira franchise uh, not not someone to replace me but additional Elviras mm-hmm. wow so are, are we looking for one Elvira then or are we looking for many well in this show we're looking for the, the first one of what I hope to be an entire army of Elvira clones eventually. <laughs> That's fun. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's become pretty synonymous with Halloween. And I have so many people nowadays coming up and saying, uh, are you the real Elvira? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had interviewed you once before, and I remember you telling me that your, your daughter had asked if she could be Elvira one day. Well, yeah, that was before she uh, hit puberty, because now she would rather be... Uh, Charles Manson than be Elvira. Uh, <laughs> not kidding. Anything, anything but Elvira. So what? what? I'm the most embarrassing thing that ever lived. Aww. She wrote a song about me. It was, my mother has claws. She's not a person. She's a thing. <laughs> so, there you go. I would think it'd be pretty cool to have your mom be Elvira. Well, depends what age you are. <laughs> so it was pretty cool for her up until about 10 years old. <laughs> After that, it's like, oh, my God, Mom, you are so embarrassing. Really? Yeah. Fantastic. That's when kids get they at the embarrassment stage and everything. Everything their parents do is embarrassing. Don't you remember that? Well, yeah. you know, it's not just you. I've talked to so many actresses and stuff that have children, and they're not impressed, you know? No, not at all. Yeah. At all. So, like, how did you go through this whole process of, uh, I guess you would call it auditioning people? I don't know. How did you do this? Well, um, they put... Big, you know, ads all over with casting directors and on the internet, um, everywhere. We got two thousand applicants. Ooh! But um, after they put them through a background check, there was less than a thousand left because <laughs> they all like came from prison. I guess they were ex-cons or something. <laughs> and uh, thank God they didn't make me go through the background check, or we would have been in deep trouble. <laughs> um, but then they they got about a thousand, and they pre-screened them. And then they got them down to about 60 who were really, really, you know, uh, real possibilities. And then I and my two um, uh, handmaidens of the dark, I'm calling them, they're my two Elvira drag queens, Patterson and and Christian. We judged these uh, 60 people. We had them audition. And, oh, my God, it was pretty harrowing. Wow. Yeah, it's a trip. You you will see that on the show October 13th. It, I got one of everything that exists in the world came to these auditions. Um, every color, creed, age, race, uh, and gender, and some genders that don't even exist were there. <laughs> that had to be uh, pretty... I won't say embarrassing, but it had to be scary for them to have to... They had to actually do that in front of you? I mean, they had to do you in front of you. They did. They did. They, they had a lot of courage. I have to hand it to them. They, they, you know, a lot of them were really nervous, but they got up there and they did it. And, and everybody did a really, really great job. There were some very cool people and some very interesting and very bizarre people. So I take it on this show, we're going to see the good, the bad, and, and the ugly. <laughs> uh, and yeah. everything in between. <laughs> no, you're going to see a little bit of everything. And um, uh, it's not... You know, in my line of work, I go to a lot of horror conventions, so I, I meet some pretty uh, interesting people. And let me tell you, I, this uh, audition even made me uh, scared. <laughs> well, I know for a fact when I talked to you before that, that you definitely are genuine in the fact that you just really love the cult genre and what you do. Did you kind of look for that in, in these girls or maybe guys, too? Were the, were the guys auditioning? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Plenty okay. of guys. Um, oh, that was definitely one of the things. You know, I said, 
first of all, there were, you know, people say, what were you looking for in Elvira? And obviously there are a couple of, you know, physical attributes that we were kind of looking for. <laughs> um, but but uh, way beyond that, the the other two things we were looking for that you, they absolutely had to have, and that was a sense of humor, you know, kind of a sassy, little wicked sense of humor, very important. And the most important thing, I think, a love for the horror genre. They had to know about it they had to be into it they had to really love it or uh, otherwise they just couldn't couldn't possibly be the next Elvira yeah because that's definitely part of it is love and and the the cockiness and and the inside jokes and and humor yeah so it's so much more than just a great set of boobs you know that's that's (laughs) like a hooters girl you know this was way more complicated than that see I'm on the other end of the spectrum I have the 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 sense of humor I just don't have the uh Assets. Yeah, well, that was a problem. But, you know, there's always, like, uh, your brother's gym socks that you can stuff in there, you know, to help you out with that. That's true. So when they tried out, did they have, like, the whole Elvira garb on? And no, what we did, we, we told everybody to come as their own unique version of a sexy um, vamp. And uh, so we got a little bit of everything. So they started out with their own unique brand. And as time goes on, they become more and more Elvira-like until at the finale they will be literally, you know, Elvira clones. Now, how many episodes are are there going to be? How many what? Episodes. There are four episodes of the show. Uh, The first one will be on October 13th, and the second one is October 20th, then October 27th, and then it will culminate and we'll find out who is the next Elvira on Halloween. Now, it starts when? October 13th, and uh, if anybody out there is wondering what time or how they find the Fox Reality Channel, uh, go to Elvira.com, and there's a banner on the home page about the Elvira, um, search for the next Elvira, just click on that, and you can find out, you know, when it airs, where, and blah, blah, blah. Now, I've been checking you out on MySpace, and I guess you've been trying to get the show on for a while, huh? I have. I, I Actually, it's been a couple years that I've... Uh, uh, where it came up with the idea and where we went around pitching it to uh, every, you know, cable channel and, and uh, network in the world and uh, finally got a sale because my idea originally was to find other girls to play Elvira that I could actually franchise, kind of like Bozo the Clown <laughs> before you guys were alive, but, um, you know, to send out there and do gigs where it, because I couldn't, make it to all the gigs so right. we had this idea and then um, I think my manager actually came up with the idea but you know that should be televised it should be like the Miss America pageant and we should televise the whole thing and uh, that's when we decided to take it around to the to the various cable channels and networks and see if we could get a deal now are they yeah. going to go through kind of like an Elvira boot camp with you Elvira boob camp yes. oh <laughs> yeah, after, after they win then, then they will definitely have to go to boob camp and learn how to be Elvira so you was talking about sending some of these Elviras around to places that you can't be do you think people are going to accept somebody else other than you because there's only one you could say it or everybody loves you so much well thank you I, there is only one me but the, you know the, here's, the, here's a couple of funny things that have been happening one is I go to appearances and everybody under 30 comes up to me and says are you the real Elvira? And I'm like, oh, hello. <laughs> you know, at first I was really annoyed, and then later I'm going, hmm, I see an opportunity here. And and um, the other thing is, uh, it was a really good thing, but I totally forgot it. <laughs> what it was. <laughs> okay, I was going to tell you, but uh, it totally slipped my mind. <laughs> uh, I have no idea what I was talking about. Okay, there you go. It's amazing. It is amazing. You can keep anything straight. You've been so busy today at Chiller and everything. I was really, really busy today. Today was a really crazy day, and it's it's um it's really fun to do. But by the end of the day, your face hurts, and you've smiled, and you know, taken so many pictures that your retinas are burned off your eyes, and <laughs> your face is stuck in a smile forever, and your jaw's aching and everything. Um, so it's 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 draining meeting so many people in one day. So this thing with the Fox Reality Channel is it like a one season deal, or they got like an option, or you got to wait and see how it does, or? Well, we're, yeah, we'll sort of wait and see how it does, see what goes on. Oh, I just thought of, I, I just, see, I'm, I'm on a time delay. I just thought of what I was going to tell you before. Um, but, yeah, we do wait and see. If it if it uh, goes great, we do it again next year and find another Elvira. Oh. But here was what I was going to tell okay. you. During the show, <clears throat> excuse me, we had um, 
We had some of the girls go out to Universal Studios Hollywood uh, to do a little bit of Elvira entrepreneurship. And um, the girls were not even fully dressed like Elvira yet. They were sort of semi-Elvira. And all the tourists were coming up to them and going, Elvira, oh, my God, can I take my picture with you? <laughs> I mean, dozens of people were coming up to them and wanting to get their picture. And uh, they weren't even looking like Elvira yet. <laughs> so, so I think that another Elvira is going gonna, is gonna to really work out for the tourists, the, the people who aren't really the hardcore horror fans, but who just kind of think Elvira's out there and she's cool and she's a symbol for a holiday. You know? I, I think you're incredible. Uh, you're an incredible genius because I think it's better to have you have your name on it and be behind it than to have people like Ivonica Dapper. <laughs> I don't know if you know who she is. That's right. There you go. Exactly. <laughs> and remember, I said that and you didn't. <laughs> okay. I won't mention that. Yes. We, we know her. Yes. But I, I really, you know, and I say this again, nobody wants you to retire. I don't know. You're not, you're not getting tired of doing it, right? No, no, I'm really not getting tired of doing it. I, I, um, I really, really enjoy doing the character. I have fun. I have fun meeting fans. I have fun doing the character on TV or, or films or whatever I do. I really, I really have a great time when I'm doing it. The only thing I hate is like putting on all the makeup. That's, that's become kind of a. Yeah. <laughs> How long does it take to get ready to be Elvira? It takes an hour and a half, and and. Uh, after you're in it, it's an extremely, an extremely uncomfortable outfit. I don't want to go into all the details, but it's like, you know, yeah. ugh, really uncomfortable. It's really hard to keep smiling for any length of time. <laughs> well, I know you mentioned one time, of course, you've done many things as Cassandra. I mean, you were in Pee Wee Herman movies and everything else, did a lot of roles in that. But you had mentioned that you felt that, you know, a lot of times Elvira was more popular than you as an actress. Does that ever bother you? Oh, no, no. It, it doesn't. It bothered me maybe in the first year I did Elvira. But, um, no, I'm thrilled that Elvira's the star and I'm just a business person behind the scenes. Um, it's it's incredible because, number one, I get to have a, a life, uh-huh. <laughs> unlike a lot of celebrities. And uh, uh, number two, it's just like, uh, you know, Elvira... I own Elvira, so I am able to go out and and sell the character, and I reap all the benefits. Unlike most characters, I'd say, my gosh, you know, 99% of all characters are owned by a studio Mm. or a TV station, and um, when when those people go out and work, uh, 75% goes to the studio, and the actor gets a very, very little piece of that action. So I'm able to exploit the character, do merchandising, licensing, and and uh, you know reap all the rewards. So I never get you know bummed out about oh gosh because Andre Peterson can't work. I'm like yeah, Elvira, baby, support me. Well, you know you're so humble and so down to earth. I mean, <laughs> I think my head would be a little bit bigger because to think about a horror host, I mean, God, there's nobody more popular than you are. I mean, you are totally international, which does not happen to horror hosts for the most part. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I tell you, I, I lucked out. I don't know what happened. I didn't plan it that way. Just uh, after I was on local TV in Hollywood for a couple of years, we were able. My management was able to find someone to syndicate the movie, and uh, my, I mean my wraparounds and the movies, and um, you know, able to show it in the entire United States. And it was the first time that a horror host had ever gone national. And uh, there lies the difference between me and all the other really great horror hosts who are out there. We can see those original episodes now that they've been released on DVD. I'm sorry? We can see those original episodes. They've been released on DVD, right? Yes, they have. The Shout Factory um, released six of my original television shows last year, and six new ones just came out this month. And uh, there's some really, oh, my God, there's some some really embarrassing stuff. (laughs) (laughs) I see some of it, and I... Some I think is really funny, and some I'm like, oh my god, I could die. Ah, uh, I had really flat hair, and and I talked really, really slow. <laughs> uh, did you keep the uh, the John Paragon stuff in there with breather? Yeah, there's some of the the John Paragon stuff when he was doing the breather. Uh, that's that's in a couple of episodes. I'm not sure exactly which ones now, but um, there's some really funny stuff. There's um, a lot of the, you know different actors from back in the day and. Uh, it's really very nostalgic and uh, 
very embarrassing, like I said. <laughs> well, they're, they're on a shelf factory, and if uh, anybody's interested in taking a look at those, you can go to Elvira.com and go in the merchandise section and uh, and buy them. Do they're, you ever sit really back and, and just watch them and kind of be like, wow? <laughs> yeah, you kind of go back, back, back into time. What about... Uh, down memory lane. <laughs> what about music? Are you going to be doing more music? I don't know. I don't have any plans to do that right now. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Hold it. Uh, what am I saying? I just did a, actually a song for a girl um, named Leslie Hall. She is a very funny. She had a, she had a song on the internet that became very popular. It was called "What What Up the Butt." Uh, don't even ask me. <laughs> and and she did another song um, that I um, do kind of like a Vincent Price thing in, in Chiller. And or thriller or whatever. I mean, oh, Matt Chiller was in Thriller. Okay. Um, and anyway, I do the sort of in surprise thing on this song, and it's called Zombie Killers, and it's it's out this month. I think it's just going to be around on YouTube, and and it's going to it's coming out in red vinyl. Whoa. The only way you can buy it is on like an actual vinyl disc, and uh, it's funny as hell. She she's a trip. She's really really very cool kind of culty gal and so I'll be doing that song with her zombie killers so uh, you can check that out I'm, I'm not even sure where you can find that but I eventually will have it on my website elvira.com so well I know my yeah. friend my well, friend buy yourself a phonograph <laughs> player we have one so well, you know great. you know Cassandra that could be the next item an Elvira record player there you go oh my god <laughs> There's a big oh. gramophone, the kind you crank. <laughs> well, I, I hope you just, you know, do a lot more music because I think you're a credible singer and, and, and you Aww, just managed you. to bring the whole thing into it. I know for a fact my uh, friend Scott Moon and his partner, Mr. Lobo, which you just did a show with. Yeah, oh, my God, I love Mr. Lobo. But they're trying to come up with something. They're hoping to get you to sing it. That would be so cool. I would love to do that. I, I, I love doing music. I, I mean, I'm just a music fanatic, and I've loved music since the day I was born, and I'm... I, I, you know, I would have stick, stuck with music. I mean, that's how I started out as a dancer and then a singer. Um, but, but sort of got older and decided to get into more acting more. But God, I love music. I'll tell you. Can I ask you a crazy rumor? Because I'm pretty sure that I'm right in saying this. Now, you did a, a movie called Working Girls. I did. Oh, and, what a shame! And there, a shame. there was a nude scene in there. Well, sort of nude. I was topless. Okay, uh, somebody in a chat room last week said they had thought you did a porno. Excuse me, I think they're probably getting that confused <laughs> with the working girls, right? I think they must be, because no, never did anything even close to that. I'm, I'm, I'm not nearly as famous as Paris Hilton, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, no, my, my stuff was pretty tame. I was a showgirl in Las Vegas, and so, so for me to be in a movie and be topless was like, oh, whoop de doo big deal. Um, but that, that's about it. That's about as risque as I ever got. My apologies for bringing up the dirt, but I had to ask that question. Don't worry about it. I love to clear the air because I did have somebody say, oh, weren't you in a porn on it? No. If you can find the footage, uh, I'll pay you a million bucks. (laughs) Bring it here, I will give you a million dollars. They said that in the chat room, and I moderate the chat room while the show is going on, and I'm like, no, 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 no. no, Well, tell them there's a million dollar reward if they can find find a porno of me and, and uh, I will pay it. <laughs> so everybody I would love to see it myself because it never happened. <laughs> I, wouldn't, I don't know if I'd say that, Cassandra. People can get pretty fancy with that video editing software on their well, computers. Well, that's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah, nowadays you might have to worry about that. Well, I don't want to keep you on too long because I appreciate you being on. I had a crazy schedule and here. You're probably still suffering jet lag over there on the East Coast. Well, I'm kind of staying on the West Coast time wherever I go. Yeah. <laughs> now, so, do you have any upcoming, like, uh, conventions that are planned that you're, or appearances that you're going to be at? Yeah, I'm doing a couple big appearances for Hot Topic stores. Are you guys familiar with mm-hmm. them? Oh, of course. Perfect. Yeah, they, they've got 700 stores, and I'm actually um, representing them for this Halloween. So I'm, I'm going to be doing two live appearances, one at Universal Studios Hot Topic and one at Salem, Massachusetts on Halloween night. Very cool. Well, uh, we'll have to show up the uh, L.A. one. Yeah, yeah. It, it's going to be fun. And... Um, I'm doing, um, also, I'll be on the Today Show on Halloween morning, and I'll be, of course, my television show on October 13th, and then um, I'll be at a big fundraiser for children with AIDS called Dream Halloween, um, and where I'm really, I'm really excited because they're doing a one-of-a-kind Mattel Barbie of Elvira. Ooh. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, my dream come true, turning into a Barbie. <laughs> 
so that's pretty cool. And um, so I'm, I'm all over the all over the country. I'm going to New York three times this month, and then back to LA to finish shooting my show. And it's a really really busy Halloween. What about uh, any more movies? As far as Elvira movies, I am working on two different movie projects, which I'm I'm going to start concentrating on after Halloween. And um, one is a live action film I once sold already to a studio, and then the studio went bankrupt. I guess I was kind of a curse for them or something. <laughs> and uh, so I'm going to try to be reselling that because I got the rights back. And another is an animated feature that I'm going to start working on. Very cool. Is that Elvira animation? It sure is. Oh, yeah. Now, that, yeah. that's perfect. I, guess I could just totally see you in like a Saturday morning cartoon show. There you go. Me too. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, well, this, this I'm hoping to do a feature first. So, so uh, I'm really excited about that. But that's a very long-term project. Well, I thank you so much. I, do you really realize how much people love you? I mean, seriously. I don't know. You I know, I was <laughs> thank you for saying that. I, I hope they do. I, they yeah. do. I was just going to tell you because I've been getting, because I told you we have the live chat room going on during the show, and I've been getting emails and MySpace messages, and everybody has all these personal comments to give all via. So I would just tell you as a whole, everybody says they love you. <laughs> oh, that is so sweet. God, thank you for saying that. That's really nice. You by chance uh, remember your MySpace URL? Uh, do I remember it? Yeah. No. <laughs> no, that's okay, because I don't remember mine either. <laughs> no, I can never remember. I all, the, you know, the only way I go on there is I, like when I just go on and type Elvira and it comes up. Yeah, exactly. And for anybody that's listening, if you're a friend of ours on MySpace, we have Cassandra in the top ten of our friends. Yeah, both of your main one and, and for the show. Thank you. Uh, once again, tell everybody when the show is going to be on and uh, Fox Reality Channel. Yep, Fox Reality Channel starting October 13th. Um, I think that's a Saturday night, I believe. Mm -hmm. And then it's four episodes, and the last episode where you find out who the next Elvira is is on Halloween night. I think it would probably be the biggest thing that Fox Reality ever had. Well, I hope so. Better be. That's not saying much. Oh, don't say I said that. No, just kidding. No, you know what? The Fox Reality, they just started their own uh, individual program. I mean, their own, own what, not individual, what do you call it? They're doing their, <laughs> doing their own programming. And I'm like the, I think I'm like the third show they've done because um, basically they just, they air reality shows, you know, they've been on every network. So, so it's, they're kind of brand new. So it's, um, it's exciting to be, you know, part of the beginning of that. I know for a fact it's on DirecTV. I guess it's on a Dish Network, too. I don't know. I'm not sure. I, and I imagine cable outlets all over the place. Yeah, you kind of have to check on where it is and if you get it because it is relatively new. Yeah. Well, you do a lot of stuff with kind of new fledging channels like that because I know that you had been involved with something called Monsterama that was on Monsters HD on Zoom, right? Yeah, I was. I was. And and um, hopefully they'll get going. There was there was a big switch over, and, and I hope they're going to be able to, uh, you know, get that get that going again I think they are They're, it's, it's complicated but th it was a really cool thing I, I hope it works out for them well, back a few years ago when I interviewed you uh, you told me you wouldn't mind doing an Elvira show again like you did where you host the movies you still feel that way? oh yeah that, that was my favorite thing to do in the world I just love I just love uh, commenting on those films and you know being able to watch them and make jokes about them and play with them so I, I that would be my dream to host another show series like that it was so much fun well call radio wants to wish you happy halloween i'm sorry call radio wants to wish you happy halloween well thank you and thank you so much for being on the show cassandra okay thank you guys <laughs> have a good halloween you too go get some rest <laughs>